Hey, it's Bang for about PC Gamer here. I'm just going to talk about the PlayStation 2 emulator and what resolutions are best for certain games and which resolutions um, don't work. So, um, I was asked earlier um, you know, how to make your PlayStation 2 emulator look the best when it comes to uh, image quality. So, what I found using the um, PCSX2 emulator is not one resolution can work for every single game. So I'm just going to um, demonstrate what not to do and how to get around um, some graphical settings when they don't work properly. Um, I personally use um, the GSD10 plugin and I always use it in direct 3D11 mode. So um, I found that works best with my hardware because I've got a DirectX 11 compatible graphics card and um, it definitely provides the best quality when it comes to images. Um, I enable shader, shader boost, um, FX shader, texture filtering, texture filtering, 8-bit textures and hardware hacks when they're available. Um, you can configure them here. There are different hacks to help games look better. For example, aggressive CRC helps with the Final Fantasy games. Um, there's an NVIDIA hack if you've got an NVIDIA graphics card like myself. Some games don't look good at full screen and this helps fix it. Um, you should avoid uh, multi-sample anti-aliasing because this only works in Direct 3D, um, DirectX 9 mode. So if you're using DirectX 11 mode like me, then this is an option that doesn't really apply to you. But that's pretty much it. When it comes to resolution, the big no that you should never do is run the game at native resolution. Um, this locks the game to how the game would look on a PlayStation 2 and it's definitely not ideal for someone that's playing it on a, a PC and um, with a decent resolution of 1920 by 1080 or above. So I'm just going to demonstrate how a game looks when you run it at native resolution and how a game looks when you run it at a custom resolution. So the game I'm going to use is... Um, I think I'll use Street Fighter EX3 and I'll demonstrate how the game, how terrible the game looks at uh, native PS2. Fighter EX3 Fight! <laughs> 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 So as you can see the game not looking too great at PS2's native resolution. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you what happens when you choose a custom resolution and how much it improves the image quality. So once you uncheck native resolution, a setting I do not recommend in any situation. Um, you can make your own custom resolution or you can choose um, a multiples of the native resolution. I think the native resolution for PlayStation 2 is 360p or it might be 480 I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on it but what this basically does it doubles the resolution depending on which one you choose. The highest is six times and the lowest is two times the native resolution. Um, I personally feel these resolutions are still too low and because I've got quite a beefy system I can 
and I've got a big monitor I can kind of go crazy with it so I personally use 3840 by 2160 which is otherwise known as 4k um, I pretty much do this because I can and it does look pretty glorious but on some systems it may cause um, low frames per second so um, don't think anyone can just use this resolution and think it's going to work optimally because it won't um, you do have to have a decent dedicated graphics card for it to run at these high settings so I'm about to load the game back to where it was and show you the difference in um, image quality So as you can see the image quality looking far superior to what it did with the native resolution of the PlayStation 2. So I'm just going to demonstrate what happens if you try to use these same settings with um, other games. So if I was to run a game from Namco in particular like Soul Calibur 3 um, you'll get some vertical lines coming down the screen which obviously ruins the experience. So I'm going to show you what kind of custom resolution you need to use to avoid that. So I'm going to show you what the um, cost those lines down the screen look like and how to um, get rid of them. Well, at least your stance is correct. Ha! My life is not yours for the taking. Versus Setska, fight! <laughs> You win. So as you can see those vertical lines really ruining the experience of Soul Calibur 3 and any other Namco game you'd play like Tekken for example you'll also have those same vertical lines down the screen so you have to use a special resolution uh, the one I use in particular is um, I use a custom resolution of 1200 by 1200 um, I'm not sure if this is the maximum resolution you can use to get rid of the vertical lines but it looks decent enough to play and it does get rid of them so this is the one I recommend and I'll play through that same part of the game again and obviously you'll find that the vertical lines are removed so well at least your stance is correct ha. my life is not yours for the taking Versus Setska, fight! You win! It's time to go back to where you belong. So that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully this has helped anyone who was having any difficulty with some games and resolution and image quality when it comes to the PCSX2 emulator. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.